Hola, gente linda. Hello, beautiful people. Hola is hello in Spanish. And gente linda means beautiful people in Spanish. I am Nelly C. My goal for my YouTube channel is to study the topics for the licensed clinical social worker exam together and share this material with someone who may need it. My email address is learning together to become a LCSW at gmail.com if you want to contact me. And here is also my Facebook page, facebook.com learning together for LCSW. To start, I want to share a quote to continue to be inspired a motivator to carry on with this journey. Here is the link to this quote, just in case you want to search for more quotes to motivate yourself. We started to study the classical conditioning theory, and this is my third video review in this theory. Here is the link to the article that we have been reviewing in this video. And it is from Simply Psychology. I will post the link of this article under the video for your review at your convenience. I will also share my email and my Facebook page under the video, just in case you want to contact me. And finally, I would like to thank you for taking the time to listen to this video. If you like to receive notification when I upload a video, please subscribe and don't forget to like this video so we can all maximize the gift of the technology at this time. I also get motivated and inspired to get with this crazy idea of studying together for the LCS exam. Adios mi gente linda and many blessings. And here is a quote I'd like to share with you. Logic will get you from A to B. Imagination will take you everywhere by Albert Einstein. Again, logic will get you from A to B. Imagination will take you everywhere. So let's keep imagining that we will pass this exam and we will get a licensed clinical social worker. Let's go to Google to continue studying the conditioning development story. And we were in the weakness, weaknesses area. Ignore its biological predispositions. Organisms are biologically prepared to associate certain stimuli over others. However, classical conditioning does not sufficiently account for innate predisposition and bias. Classical conditioning emphasizes the importance of learning from the environment and support nurture over nature. However, it's limiting to describe behavior subtly in terms of either nature or nurture, and attempts to do this understand, underestimate the complicity of human behavior. It is more likely that behavior is due to an interaction between nature, biology, and nurture, environment. Lacks explanatory power. Classical conditioning provides limited insight into the connective processes underlying the association it describes. However, applying classical conditioning to our understanding of higher mental functioning, such as memory, Thinking, reasoning, or problem solving has proved more problematic. Even behavior therapy, one of the more successfully su successful application of conditioning principle to human behavior, has given way to connective behavior therapy. Questionable ecological validity. 
While lab studies support classical conditioning, some question how well it holds up in natural setting. There is debate how automatic and inevitable classical condition is outside the lab. In normal adults, the conditioning process can be overriding by instructions. Simply telling participants that unconditioned stimulus will not occur causes an instant loss of the conditioned response, which would otherwise extinguish only slowly. Okay, let's see. Most participants in experiment are aware of the experimenter's contingencies. Enter parenthesis, between parenthesis, relationships between stimuli and responses, plus parenthesis, and comma, in the absence of such awareness often fail to show evidence of condition. This is a, an idea from Brewer, 1974. Evidence indicates that for humans to exhibit classical conditioning, they need to be consciously aware of connection between the conditioned stimulus, which is CS, and the unconditional stimulus, which is US. They contradict traditional theories that humans have two separate learning systems, one conscious and one unconscious, that allow conditions to occur without conscious awareness. Okay. There are also important difference between very young children or those with severe learning different difficulties and older children and adults regarding their behavior in a variety of operant conditioning and discrimination learning experiments. This seem largely attributory to language development. This suggests that people have rather more efficient language-based form of learning that disposal than just laborious formation of distinction between condition and stimulus and condition and stimulus. Okay, so should we read the ethical um, concerns and then we have determined the theories, let's see. How long is this? And then the role of national conditioning and example two. Example three, and then conditional theory, learning check. Okay, so, and then three. Okay, so we're gonna just read until, until ethical, ethical concerns, okay? Ethical concerns. The principle of classical conditioning raise ethical concerns about manipulating behavior without consent. This is especially true in advertising and politics. Manipulation of preference, classical conditioning can create positive association with certain brands, products, or political candidates. This can manipulate preference outside of person rationally through thought process. Encouraging impulsive behavior. Conditioning techniques may encourage behavior like impulsive shopping, unhealthy eating, or risks, risky financial choices by forging positive association with this behavior. Praying of vulnerability, advertisers, or political campaigns may exploit Conditioning thing is to target and influence vulnerable demographic groups like a youth, senior, or those with mental condition. Reduction, the reduction of human agency and extreme, the use of classical conditioning technique reduces human beings to automatic reactive, reacting, predictable to stimulus. This is an ethical problematic. Okay, my dear friends, we're gonna stop here, not to make it too long. 
and it can be a little bit trouble. Bye, my amigos. Adios. Don't forget to like and to subscribe to the channel. I hope you are enjoying these theories. See you next time. Bye.